Hello, this is Aaron Travis with Purple Wave. We're conducting a retirement auction for Ace Blacktop near St. Paul, Minnesota that will close on April 14th. It's a large package of construction equipment from a paving company, and I'm going to visit with John Hengel, Purple Wave's territory manager who has been working to get everything listed. Good morning, John, and thanks for joining me. Good morning, Aaron, and thanks for having me. Tell me about Ace Blacktop. What kind of work have they done in the past, and what kind of area did they service? Well, Ace Blacktop, they've been in business since 1967. They're located in South St. Paul, Minnesota, which is in the Twin Cities. And they've been uh, primarily a paving contractor, paving anything from bike trails and driveways up to parking lots and, and large highway projects. What led to their decision to retire now? Uh, well, as I stated, they've been in business since 1967 and, uh, and feel it's time to, to move on to other ventures. I'm sure that with a package of equipment this size, they examined a bunch of options. Why, in the end, did they elect to use Purple Wave? They like the way that we bring the equipment to market. They do have a large selection of trucks and rollers and uh, asphalt rollers and pavers and stuff, and they just felt trying to sell it locally, they weren't going to get the crowd and attention they needed. And along with that, you know, moving it to a, an on-site auction place would have been a high-dollar cost. So they like the online internet deal, and they decided to choose us over any other of our competition. Well, as we speak, I see just over 200 items listed at purplewave.com. Tell me about some of the types of equipment we'll be selling for Ace Blacktop. Being a paving company, most of their equipment is, is going to be paving related. They don't have any large excavators or anything like that, but they think there's five paving machines, 16 or 17 asphalt, double drums, smooth, smooth drum rollers, the trailers, the haul, all that stuff. I think there's 16 different trailers. There's a nice sized fleet of trucks ranging from pickups up to triaxle dump trucks, triaxle semi tractors, and there is five water trucks as well. Tell me about some of the highlights. If you had to pick out three or four of the, the marquee assets, what would they be? They do have, uh, like I said, a large fleet of trucks, which is kind of unique. They're all painted red. They're all the same color. So if there's a company looking to maybe change their fleet around or upgrade a little bit, they could buy right into a, a whole matching package. They do have a Rotec RX-68 milling machine. That It's not a real new unit. But it's a very nice unit, clean unit, serviceable, is one that they were using. If there was a company that was interested in getting into that type of work, it would be a little more inexpensive way to get into it than buying a brand new machine because they're, they're very expensive to buy brand new. Well, let's talk about the auction location for a minute. Where is Inver Grove Heights in relation to St. Paul and how easy is it to access the auction location? Inver Grove Heights is on the southeast corner of St. Paul. You know, if you look out their office window, you can see the Mississippi River. It is located just south of 494 off of Concord Boulevard and Dickman Trail. So it has easy access. There's no road restrictions on, on the road here for the spring. Or if you're coming from the south, you could access it from Highway 52 and Concord Boulevard and then on the Dickman Trail. So there's easy access. Plenty of room to get any size truck in there, and, and like I said, there are not any road restrictions to access their site this spring. We're making it as easy as possible for interested bidders to come and take a look at the equipment by having a couple of open inspection periods, one on April 8th and one on April 11th, both of them from 9 to 3 each day. In the event that those dates don't work for somebody, will there be a way for interested bidders to come and take a look at the inventory outside of those times? Absolutely, yes. Um, Clint Mickelson is one of the owners, and he's there pretty much every day from, you know, kind of normal business hours, 8 to 5. His phone number is listed on the website. Uh, you can reach out to him and set up a time to come and take a look. Any, any, any time that he's available, he's, he's willing to meet. So, Let's talk about after the auction. Uh, once a buyer has invoice in hand, what does he need to do to come down and, and pick up the purchases from the auction location? Uh, just give Clint a call. Uh, let him know you're coming and swing on in and pick it up. There, I have a, a little bit of a loading dock there, so I would plan ahead as far as a trailer for getting something loaded. Otherwise, any time that somebody could come, they could come and get it picked up. There's quite a bit of stuff here that would be difficult for one person to load himself. Will there be any kind of loading assistance available? Yes, Clint will be there, and he does uh, have two other people that will be helping with the loadout. Some of the heavier pieces might require some more advanced logistics, scheduling trucks and haulers. When must everything be removed? 
they really would like everything removed within that 14-day timeline. You know, as we talked about, it is a retirement auction. As soon as this equipment is gone, they just need to clean up the property and give it back to the owner. So they kind of would like to get everything removed as quickly as possible so they can they can move on. Well, John, is there anything else you want to say or mention about this event? It, it is a nice package of equipment. There's, there's a lot of different trucks and trailers. If a person was to look through all the listings we have, there is a lot of nice shop supplies as well. There's tools and welders and engine stands and all kinds of different stuff. There's parts for the milling machine and a reclaimer that they have. Kind of a one-stop shop. Somebody could take a look and buy all kinds of different things from a triaxle dump truck right down to some gas cans if they'd want to. John Hengel is Purple Wave's territory manager for southeastern Minnesota and parts of western Wisconsin. You can find him on the web at purplewave.com slash John Hengel. That's J-O-H-N-H-E-N-G-E-L. Contact him at john.hengel at purplewave.com or call 952-220-7068. Thanks again, John, for joining me this morning. Thank you, Aaron. Bidding for the Ace Blacktop Retirement Auction is open now and will close Tuesday, April 14th, beginning at 10 a.m. If you're interested in inspecting the equipment before bidding, visit the open inspections on April 8th or April 11th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day, or contact Clint Mickelson at clint at aceblacktop.com or call 612-290-9388. Like all Purple Wave auctions, there are no reserves or minimum bids. Items receiving bids in the last few minutes will be automatically extended to give everyone a fair chance to bid. There's no advantage in waiting, so view the complete inventory and place your bids now at purplewave.com.